team, how are you? Welcome back to AO.com's YouTube channel. My name's Maddie and this is the series where I show you how to make interesting recipes in unexpected appliances. And today we're going to be making calzoni in the return of the sandwich toaster. As always, I'm going with a fairly simple, easy to follow recipe and I can't be bothered with all of that proving and leaving things in a drawer to wait for hours. So I'm making a dough that you can just get cooking straight away. First thing you need is 375 grams of plain flour, a teaspoon of salt, seven grams of yeast. I don't know how to measure seven grams of yeast, so I'm going to assume it's about a teaspoon. Whoop. Wow. Oh, that was too much. Oh well, we're going to have very lively pizza base. <laughs> One tablespoon caster sugar, just to sweeten things up a little bit. I've made a little well inside the dry ingredients and now I'm going to put in two tablespoons of olive oil. Finally, I'm just boiling the kettle because we need to add 225 mils of warm water so I'll let that cool down slightly. Ow, that's too hot. <laughs> in with the warm water and now I'm going to start mixing it. Oh my gosh, that is exceptionally sticky. That can't be right. Already regretting this. Now I'm just going <laughs> and a heap of slop on my kitchen table. This is just an absolute... <laughs> Maybe this is it. Maybe I just need to work with it like this. <laughs> what have I forgotten? Come on! Am I impressing you with my dough skills? <laughs> you think I'm going to throw it at the ceiling, but I promise you, I'm not. Hey! Hey guys, watch out! I've been working this now for a good 10 minutes and it is still nothing but glue, so I think we're gonna have to do another batch because I've gone drastically wrong somewhere. Having done a few attempts with the previous recipe for glue, I've decided to go with a slightly alternative recipe. First of all, you're going to need 300 grams of strong bread flour, a single teaspoon of yeast, one tablespoon of olive oil, and 200 mils of warm water. Finally, we've got a dough that's come together. Hooray! Praise the dough gods! Oh no, this is it. I mean, some people would call it kneading. In my line of work, uh, this sort of thing, we actually call um, the Turkish massage. This method is officially known as um, the accordion. This method is what we call the stress reliever. And finally, we have something that actually resembles pizza dough. Like this. Yes! So working with a quarter of your mixture, you want to sort of spread it in... Incoming! Two. I'm fairly happy with that, trust me. We've been here long enough. I'm now going to use a rolling pin just to like completely flatten it out because I do want it to all be um, one thickness. And then just to sort of polish at the edges, I'm using a knife just to cut it into a nice neat rectangle. I'm going to start off with just a little bit of tomato puree. So this is kind of also going to act a little bit like our glue, so make sure it goes right up to the edges. Tearing off bits of mozzarella. Ooh, yum. And now I'm going to go in with some very thinly sliced mushrooms. Again, you can put in whatever fillings you want to. Just to top it all off, I'm going to put on some chorizo. And these are just cubed bits of chorizo sausage. I'm actually going to brush a tiny bit of olive oil onto the sandwich toaster before I lay the dough down just to try and help it not stick. Carefully lift your dough rectangle over each other to form a neat little pocket so now it's a square just like that. With your calzone pocket just pop it straight onto the sandwich toaster. I'm gonna leave that in there for a good 15 minutes and then we're gonna come back and see what's happened. In the meantime I'm going to attempt to clear up. Let's see what it's looking like. <gasps> Dude! That is perfect, look at that! Definitely firm. I'm just gonna prod the middle just to let some of the hot air out because I don't wanna burn myself. Shall I wait for it to cool down? I can't, I'm too impatient. What? I can't believe that's worked. I've just made the calzone from scratch using a sandwich toaster. In terms of taste, absolutely spot on. Calzone in a sandwich toaster. Who are you? And there you go team, I really hope you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments if you attempt to make your very own calzone in a sandwich toaster. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next week. 